And after largely missing the last display of auroras because of cloud cover, this weekend could present another opportunity for parts of our area. Chief Meteorologist Eric Snydel can tell us how likely it is we catch a glimpse of the northern lights. Eric. Hi, Teresa. Yeah, this is the fun part here. Everybody loves the idea that we might have a chance to see the aurora again. And this weekend, especially Saturday night, appears to be our next best opportunity. Now, much like tornadoes or hurricanes, we rate these opportunities for the aurora on a scale. One to five. Bigger the number, basically the better your chance to do it. Forecasts go G2, which for us and our experience usually means the auroras are faint, but visible, especially those of you that might have a longer exposure camera. Now, great news with this, no full moon. In fact, it's a new moon, so bright moonlight will not wash things out. Like our last one, though, that Teresa mentioned, we couldn't see it all because we were overcast. I think clouds are again going to present, we'll call it an issue with this. I don't think we're completely overcast necessarily. There may be a few breaks here. We're going to take a peek at what our models think and what could go wrong with being able to see this. Plus, we'll talk weather too. Full forecast is coming up. Eric, thank you for a live look at the forecast any time of day. Download the News 8 app right to your smartphone.